down are out of it. And a brilliant result for the Swedes. Marcus Oskarsson, Henrik Nielsen, of course. 2004 Athens Olympic champions in this event, but we've had to wait a while to see gold medalists from Sweden in the K2 event. And wonderful to see them back into the Scandinavian battle there. Danish coming in second. Surely they'll be pleased with another medal. And then Hungarians in third. We've got the C2 men 1,000 metres final A coming right up now, as you can see the line up there. So we'll get a look at those crews in just a moment. Here they are. Adam Shilhokshi and Adam Xosis. Koshis, I should say. Italy, Gabriel Casade and Mikola Vihotsev. The Italians really building with a good young squad they have in the canoe events. Roland Varga and Alex Pliomtu from Canada. They're in lane three. Kirill Shamshurin and Vladislav Chebota from the Russian Federation are in four. Sergei Madrigal and Fernando Enriquez are in five. Viktor Glasnov and Thomas Barniak in six. There they are. Glasnov and Barniak, seventh at the Olympic Games. Then we should see, we do, the Spanish crew, Noel Dominguez and Manuel Fontan from Spain. Different Spanish crew that uh, took eighth place at the Olympic Games. Then the Slovakians, Eduard Strychek and Peter Kizek. They're in lane eight. No one in lane nine for this race. Should be great to see the Cubans once again. Wonderful performance at the Olympic Games that saw them take the gold medal with a late charge. Sergei Torres Madrigal, Fernando Dian Jorge Enriquez. So watch for them. They really are the crew in form. They're in the middle of the course. They're in lane five. As you can see there, Russian Canoe Federation. They've been there or thereabouts over the years. So expect them to be strong. really expect a dominant performance from the Cubans in this. So the Olympic champions, there's no China, there's no Germany. They were second and third at the Olympic Games. It's going to be a new world champion. China were the former world champions. Expect a time of around three and a half minutes for this race. And you can see there Lane four <coughs> from the Russian Canoe Federation got away very, very well. Madrigal and Enriquez from Cuba, maybe just keeping their powder dry a little bit in lane five. There's the crew there, the very, very experienced crew from the Russian Canoe Federation. Shamshurin and Chibota. And Poles. They're over in lane six. Glasno and Barniak. They got away to a good start. Cubans, you can see, just with the red bow of their canoe, beginning to move through a little bit. We're only just the first quarter in. They're in touch. Of course, with these canoes, they do give off quite a wash. The wave that they give off can affect other paddlers if they let them get away too far. So important that you stay in touch with the race. It's really important the Cubans do that now if you're going to have a chance. And I certainly expect them to come through towards the middle part of the course. We're getting close to that now. 
Otherwise, they're going to have to fight against the waves that are coming off the paddlers around them. Roland Varga and Alex Clementu from Canada are in three. Going pretty well at the moment. Shamshur and Chibota, though, the Russians, they've got the best of it at the moment. The Canadians, there you can see, such a great tradition in this sport, the Canadians. Go back to the likes of Larry Kane back in the 1980s. Such a great performance in, uh, performer in C1 and C2. Poles are in second place at the moment. Canadians third, Italians fourth. So at the moment, the Cubans, the Olympic champions, are out of it. They've got a bit of work to do now, but they are beginning to move through the field. They know, they know exactly what they have to do because they've got the Polish to their left, crew from Russia to their right, and they've just got to pick it up and begin to move through. Well, I'll begin to the last quarter of the race that really, time really is running out for the Cubans. You can see in the middle of the picture there, because the crew from Russia, who led from the start, they're still there. The Polish have gone well, they've set their stall out early. Quick look round there from Thomas Barniak. Maybe just a bit concerned about the coming of the Cubans, and indeed the Cubans are coming as they get down towards the last 200 metres of this race. This is going to be a really interesting one here to see whether or not the Cubans, who were so wonderful at the Olympic Games, can overhaul the, the crew from the Russian Canoe Federation who have over a length on them. They're the Russians, particularly tall figure in the back there. That's Vladislav Chebota. Really going well at the moment, getting those long levers working. The, Polish are trying everything they can. Much more choppy and dynamic stroke from them. They know that the Cubans are coming. The Cubans are coming, but they look like they've just lost a little bit of the edge to their stroke. Not quite as dynamic as we saw them in Tokyo. Maybe just feeling the effects of a long, long season. But it's going to be the crew from the Russian Canoe Federation that are going to take this one in the men's C2000 metres, followed by the Poles. And it's the Cubans who lunge, but to no avail, will take the third place. So. Yeah, that was an interesting one, wasn't it? I fully expected the Cubans to dominate that one, given that they won the uh, that they won the Olympic Games. But the Russians got out early, got out to a big lead, and they never looked back, did they? So that's a big, a big margin from the Russians there ahead of the Polish crew in second. And then this time round, the Cubans having to settle for bronze ahead of the Italians in fourth place. So a little bit disappointing from the Canadians. They've been there or thereabouts. The Canadians have had a little bit of a crew change and perhaps that was just affecting them a little bit. It was Roland Varga and Connor Fitzpatrick who finished sixth at the Olympic Games. A different crew this time round. Roland Varga partnering up with Alex Plomonto. Slightly disappointing for them. Glasno and Barniak, the other Poles, they'll be pleased with that result. They were fourth at the European Championships earlier in the summer, so they improve on that. They get onto the podium. And here are the paddlers from the Russian Canoe Federation. Congratulations, boys. You're world champions. Well done. How does that feel? Uh, happy. Very happy. It was first our race together. Yes, I am world champion. Yes, and first time. Ooh, super. You didn't go to Tokyo, so does this make it better now because my, you missed Tokyo? My partner went to Tokyo, but uh, have bad, had a bad race there. I think it's now better <laughs> than in Tokyo. He did. Thank you. Congratulations, well done. Thank you very much. Yes, interesting. No, no. Uh, C2 from the Russian Federation in the Olympic Games, but they were in C1, but they were delighted. You can see what it means to them just to take that win there. Confirmation, Shamshurin, Chebotar, 332 from the Russian Canoe Federation in first place. Glasno and Barniak from Poland in second, and the Q.